Hey guys! Today I'm doing a review of this unique little ring knife which you may have seen in another video of mine. It's from Spartan Blades and it's called the CQB tool which stands for Close Quarters Battle. So you can probably guess from the name, this dagger has a very specific purpose. It's meant for stabbing an attacker who's right up next to you in close quarters so you can get him off of you quickly and then transition back to your primary weapon. It has a ring hole in it here so you can put your finger through it to get a sturdy grip on the handle and draw it out quickly. And it's also really slim so that after you break your attacker's grasp, you can still keep it in your hand while you transition to your firearm if you need to. So that means that once you draw this dagger to get someone off you, you can still retain some degree of function of that hand so you don't have to resheath this blade until it's completely safe to do that. This tool was intended to be attached onto molly gear such as vests and belts, but it can also be mounted onto drop leg holsters or things like that. Um, when Spartan Blades designed this knife, I know that they wanted to be able to mount it to the center of a chest rig so that soldiers could grab it easily since your hands often end up near the center of your chest when you fall to the ground. Um, and they also didn't want it to be easily recognizable as a knife since enemies overseas were grabbing knives off of our soldiers. But for police or civilian use, you could conceal carry this blade either horizontally on a belt or inside your waistband. I personally think the sheath is a little big for me to want to conceal carry it, but many people definitely do. And I think it would be a really nice self-defense knife to tie with you when you are jogging. There are a lot of things that I like about this little blade. First, it is made in the USA, so that is really awesome. And it's also extremely sharp. And I love how slim it is. I'll try to show you here. I measured it at about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick and it's also just really cool looking and it feels really lightweight so I'll grab my scale to show you guys the weight with and without the sheath. Okay, with the sheath it weighs 3.7 ounces and Just the blade weighs two ounces. It's really well made and it's also very solid since it's just one solid piece of 154 cm steel that's almost seven inches long from end to end. The blade itself is two and seven eighths inches long but it's only sharp about halfway up as you can see for about the first inch and a half which I think is great because your hand won't touch the sharp part if you're in a struggle. They designed it like this so that even if you have big hands, your hand won't touch the sharp portion of the blade when you're holding it with a full grip like this. It was also only sharpened about halfway up so that it will cause more pain when someone is stabbed with it since the knife was not designed for killing, only getting someone off of you. The blade does have a double edge to it so you do need to check your local laws to know whether or not it's legal to carry in your area. And the entire blade is coated with a really durable PVD coating that Spartan Blades calls SpartaCoat. And I'll also put a link below to a site that has more information about that. It is ambidextrous, so it doesn't matter if you're left or right handed, you could still use this blade. And there do seem to be several ways that you could grip it. If you bypass the hole completely, you could put your thumb on the back like this. Or you could put your thumb through the hole you could also put your pinky through the hole, but I don't really like this way because this leaves your thumb so that it might get up near the blade. You could also put it next to your middle finger and use it as sort of a push dagger. Or you could put your index finger through the hole and your thumb on the back like this. Since my hands are so small, all the grips are a little awkward, but it is still usable for me. If my hands were larger, I think this overhand grip would be my preference. But seeing as how my fingers are so small, the ring hole feels so big to me, so actually just putting my thumb on the back feels most comfortable to me. I did measure the ring hole and the inside is a little less than 1 and 1 8 inches. And one interesting fact is that they purposely made the hole large enough to accommodate a soldier who was wearing an aviator flight glove. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, there are three grooves here, and the middle one has jimping for traction. But again, as you can see, my hand size 
isn't really large enough to fit these grooves like they would for the majority of guys who would be using this knife. The CQB tool is $160 on SpartanBladesUSA.com and it comes in either black or flat dark earth with a matching sheath. As for the sheath, it does have a nice drain hole at the bottom of it and it also has great retention. The dagger snaps into it nice and solid so it won't just come out on its own at any angle even if it's mounted upside down. It's in there really solid. And for mounting this to your gear, you could tie it onto your molly or pouches using the attached 550 paracord. Or as another option, I used the Boedum and Pup platform to mount this blade in another video. So I'll go ahead and put a link to that instructional video in the description box below. This is the Boedum and Pup that I drilled in my other video and it's currently set up for a vertical mount with this CQB tool. Oh, and aside from just black and flat dark earth, Spartan Blades also sells a blue trainer version for $45, which I don't have to show you, but I think it's awesome that they offer it so that you can get some really good practice in. Since this knife is so unusual and you can't hold it the same as a normal knife because of the ring hole, I think it requires a bit more handling to know how to use it right without cutting yourself. And actually, if you were to fall on this knife wrong while your finger was through the hole, there is the potential risk of breaking your finger. So if you're going to get this blade, you should definitely practice handling it a lot and also practice drawing it out quickly before you decide to carry it on you. So the blue trainer tool is super great for that. And the CQB trainer doesn't come with a sheath because the blue trainer fits directly into the sheath that you'll already have if you've already got this actual CQB tool. Spartan Blades also makes other fixed blades with beautiful designs. And all Spartan knives are made in the USA. And they have fighting knives, utility knives, and knives designed for concealed carry. Like this awesome little neck knife that I would love to check out someday. Oh, and I don't have one to show you, but you might also be aware that Benchmade has a very similar dagger called the Benchmade SOCP, which is less expensive if you're looking for a similar blade and you're on a budget. Spartan Blades developed this CQB tool first with Army instructor Greg Thompson in early 2010, but it was only offered to the military for the first two years it was made. It then became available to the general public around the same time that Benchmade introduced their SOCP. An SOCP stands for Special Operations Combatives Program, which is the same program that this CQB tool was designed for back in 2010. So they're extremely similar knives, with the main difference being that the Benchmade is made of a lesser quality steel, and that's the main reason why I prefer this CQB tool. But the one thing I do like though about the SOCP is that the sheath has a clip on it, so it would make a nice boot knife. Um, I do know that the purpose of this knife was not for concealed carry, but I do think it would be a nice option since it's so lightweight. So to wrap this up, since this is a little big for my everyday carry, I prefer a normal pocket knife for that. But I think this is an excellent quick use self-defense knife for law enforcement, military, anyone using a molly belt or vest, or even runners like I mentioned earlier. It is really unique, it is very well made, and I'll put a link below to their website, which is SpartanBladesUSA.com. And if you have any questions, I know that Curtis and Mark at Spartan Blades are really great to deal with. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you later.